Standard 4, Part 4, talks about teachers helping students develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills. And I think all good teachers want this, but sometimes we're not really sure how to make this happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the main thing here, of course, is to consider that um, students are not just vessels, you know, where they come and expect us to pour what we know into their vessel and consider themselves having been educated. And that's not what we want for them as teachers. We want them to think deeply and we want them to think broadly. So um, both of those are very, very important, thinking broadly and thinking deeply. And we can only do that if we employ, I would say, a, a binary approach. It's what we do as teachers, and it's what we have them do as students. Um, so one of the things that's important as a teacher is to ask the questions of students that allow them to think more deeply and allow them to think more broadly. And I'm going to post links to a couple of videos that I did several years ago, but they're still extremely relevant on posing those questions. And that might help you to think a little bit more about that piece of your, of what you bring to the table in terms of developing this criticality and thinking uh, among your students. And then from the student side, because I said, I think of this as, you know, in terms of a binary kind of approach. So for the students, we should be thinking about ways to um, increase their problem solving skills in things such as encouraging research and encouraging them to brainstorm. Uh, how do we get our students to go past just what's on the surface and to become more critical? And that's where we need them to research and to you know, go after information that they don't already know or to question what has been told. That's research too, the whole idea research meaning to search again. So we should encourage that among our students and we should not feel as though they are challenging us if they don't buy what we present immediately. We should actually help them to see that that is the sign of a person who is critical in their thinking, that they do question it, that they are going to look at some other sources to see if it bears out what's being presented. That's what we want to encourage. Um, another thing that we can do in, in, in addition to developing this um, idea of researching and brainstorming among our students, we can also present them with real life problems. We can get them to look at these issues that they live every day, that they hear about every day, that we know they will encounter for the rest of their lives. Things such as, and these are things that, you know, we should be incorporating regardless of the discipline, whether we're talking math, language arts, physical education, art, it doesn't matter. We should find ways to incorporate um, issues of climate change, issues of um, health care and issues of world education, um, food insecurity, violence, homelessness, sustainability. Um, these are the things that are very real to all of our lives. How can we bring them to the table within our own disciplines? And that is um, a, what we need to incorporate in every single lesson that we plan. So before we finish planning that lesson, you know, I would think that you would want to ask yourself, okay, how is this discussion on the Pythagorean theorem going to be relevant to my students' lives? And one way you can connect it to their lives is, is there a way that you can connect this to education, to sustainability, to homelessness, to violence, to food insecurity, to health care, to climate change, to many others? you know, diversity, um, acceptance of people's religions and gender orientations and 
there's just so, so many world issues that um, allow you to make whatever it is you're teaching real for the students. And that's, I think, what we're asked to do with this particular part of Standard 4 that asks us to help students develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills.